the Dreadnought, a massive fortress and ship commanded by Oryx, the Taken King. It is through there that we make our way inside the King's Fall Raid. Unlike Vault of Glass and Wrath of the Machine, we do not have a physical door to open, we instead continue our journey through a portal, taking us through a different dimension inside the Dreadnought. But there is a physical entrance. And for almost two years, we have only marveled at it from a distance. No one could reach it, and no one knew if the raid inside would even load in other instances. That is, until now. So on this journey we're going to need a couple of things. For location requirements we will be needing the Nightfall and the Dreadnought. For class you will be needing a Titan with the Striker subclass and the Death from Above perk unlocked. For skills you will be needing to know how to Titan fly and use the Sonic Dive. For more information and tutorials for these skills they can be found in the description. Extra things you will need is the memory of Radagast Artifact, Heavy Synthesis, and a minimum of 2 players total in the fire team. So before we actually do the first part of the glitch, I wanted to show you guys some illustrations that I made of the outside of the map. Here you can see some of the structures and some of the objects I drew and everything. You can also tell that my budget just went into the intro. <laughs> so uh, we're going to watch some gameplay here and we'll be able to, to navigate around the map while our guardian uh, goes around it. We'll revisit this area and I'll show you guys how to get to this area uh, through the glitch and everything. So you'll be able to see uh, how to get here and everything. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys the map or my drawing to see uh, the perspective on certain things. From here you can actually see the raid area below. This is one of the doors that I drew, and the other one is over there. You can also see the dirt structures and everything on the edge of the Dreadnought. So right now we'll be going to the other side, but we'll also get a, a better view of this area from, uh, from on top. So those are the structures that I have drawn over here. And now going to the other side you can see a bit more of what I drew. Um, we'll be using this map to show and explain a couple of things as we move along the video. And without much further delay, let's get started.
tell you the number of scouts I've lost to these brothers on Mars. They need to be stopped. Go careful. And from here you can get a good look at the raid area where we get teleported to. So, what exactly happened? Well for starters, let's label a bit here on the picture that I made. So here you can see the death barriers in red, and the pushback barriers in yellow. The trick here is that for some reason, when you accumulate lots of speed, your ghost can sometimes appear below maps. So by using the sonic dive, which is basically a super cancelled midways, I attain a lot of speed from the start, allowing my ghost to appear on the bottom once I hit the death barrier. If you press the square button to revive yourself, it would just respawn you at the top before you fell. So why did I spawn at the bottom? Well, the secret lies in the nightfall. The nightfall has a unique mechanic. When advancing certain points in the strike, it'll auto revive any dead fire team member wherever their ghost is at no matter their location. So now, how do we get to the raid area from here? Believe it or not, it's really, really far from here. And it also has its own set of problems. Also, protected by its own set of bears, we cannot simply fly there normally. If you try to get close, you will be pulled in and dragged down. Your abilities don't work as effectively when inside a pull bear, making it impossible to get through as the countdown itself will kill you. So in theory, there's only two options. Either fly in with so much speed, we minimize the time being inside the barrier, or drop in from above. But at the height that we're at, it won't be possible to go on top of the barriers. So, why not use a bit of both theories? Some of the difficulties in getting here is that it's mandatory to have a full set of heavy ammo with the artifact and a spare heavy ammo synthesis on hand. Meaning you cannot die at all as you lose the extra artifact ammo on your sword. Meaning you have to gauge your distance well when climbing up the wall, go too high and you'll hit the death barrier. And the hardest part is timing a sonic dive just before you hit the barrier. Otherwise you won't be getting through it or if you do it while inside the barrier your character won't go anywhere. Not surprising though, the chest at the start and the chest past the ship puzzle don't spawn. 
And if you didn't already guess it, the elevator doesn't work. <laughs> you can get the castle frag fragment though. But with the elevator gone, I had no way of advancing. I didn't know what to do. Like any other glitch, I explored as much as I could to find a way around. Which led to a lot of interesting looking places that you've probably never seen before, or even knew existed. The Dreadnought is massive. So much that it was a pain getting around the map that I easily made about like 2 terabytes of recording. There's, there's no way I can show that much without making the video 15 hours long. But I could make a montage of it, and that's exactly what I did. I hope you enjoy seeing the bit of chaos that exploration is. And nope, still didn't get past it. Although some areas seemed favorable to use, I couldn't reach them. At this point, I needed help reaching them. I invited my friend Esoteric to give me a hand in this. Even with the two of us though, we couldn't reach the height we needed. It was clear we needed a third, but with no ships to use, making it across the puzzle was very difficult. And sometimes even needed a super to reach the platform across. We had a couple people attempting crossing over, but ultimately couldn't get a third across. The interesting thing about this area is that there's two death barriers here. The first one would be here and the second below. The interesting thing though is that the sides weren't pushback barriers, rather they were out of bound barriers. Making it possible to use a smash and quickly get past them, allowing you to get under the first death barrier here. I had told this to Esoteric and explored below while waiting for a third to make it across. We accidentally discovered something. Although the death barrier was right on the edge preventing us from getting under the map and across to the other side, the peculiar thing is that you can temporarily go a bit deeper into the death barrier and survive only while in the death from above animation. And that was our ticket across.
Guardian down. If you don't recognize this place, sometime during the first year King's Fall was out, there was a Reddit post about this place. Mainly it was known for showing off this hive weaponry or whatever it is. From where we're at, you can actually go all the way back to the elevator area and be above it. Unfortunately, there's a ceiling barrier making me unable to go even higher, and below us is a death barrier. So, recalling earlier in the video, even if I had gotten three people across the ship puzzle, it would have been in vain as it wouldn't have been able to even reach up here. So my only hope was to find a way on top of the entire map. I found some favorable spots you could possibly use to climb to the top of the map, but I was limited in what I could do anymore. So far, I've only known to access this place during the nightfall, and it took me the last two nightfalls to finally find a way in here. And now, the footage you're seeing is already past reset. Not only had I run out of time, most importantly, I had run out of consciousness. With Destiny 2 around the corner, I may revisit this place in the far future to finish this journey, or maybe someone will take the path and finish it for me. Only time can tell.